What's shaking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Depeche Mode, and I'd like to start by giving a shout out to Major Champion and friend of the channel, Han Solo. He's given me uh, access to an amazing wealth of material of different groups, um, different periods, different genres, uh, but one of the things he's given me access to is different Depeche Mode remixes and rarities. Uh, and in this case, one of the things he's given me access to is an early live version of I Sometimes Wish I Was Dead. Now, this is a tune that was on their uh, debut album, Speak and Spell, 1981. I don't know if it was written by Vince. I know the majority of tunes were written by Vince, so I'm just going to assume that's the case. Uh, I found that tune interesting, and I talked about this in the reaction to that, that it has sort of um, a very dark title and themes, or at least seeming, um, themes, despite having a very light and sort of bright synth poppy early 80s uh, sound. So I enjoy the the tension or juxtaposition or perhaps even contradiction of that. Um, so I'm curious what this early live version will sound like. If it, you know, maybe it will sound very similar, just perhaps with a different arrangement or if there's actually a different flavor, but I guess we'll find out. Let's hear it. This is the Pesh Mode. I sometimes wish I was dead. An early live version uh, provided by a friend of the channel, Han Solo. Thank you. essentially what that is, but it's interesting because it had a bit nastier of a feel. It felt, you know, a bit more like Acid House with that low end. Um, and then that, like, kazoo-style synth. I don't remember that being quite as prominent in the original. Now, I haven't listened to the original in a little bit. Maybe that's my error. Um, but yeah, like I said, it felt a little less electronic. It felt a little more live bandish, but I don't know if that's just because of the nature of the rec recording. You know, it's like a live sound recording, so perhaps some of the, like, you know, electricity of the synth work or the, the synth bass is sort of like lost in the recording. Um, but either way, it's like, it's the same tune and yet it, it felt like a bit harder edged, which is interesting that they sort of made it a bit lighter, a bit, um, you know, more frolicky in the, the studio version. But once again, shout out to Han Solo. Um, I've been remiss. Uh, there are a few other like remixes and other versions of Depeche tunes that I will try to get to soon. Um, I've been mentioning this in a number of videos. The next few days, I'm probably not going to get to shoot all that many videos, the holidays and all that. Um, I will get a few in, uh, certainly, but ultimately, I won't get back to like a regular schedule, I would say, until like next Monday or Tuesday. 
Um, so hopefully you're still you will still here be here for it. Uh, do let me know what you think of this version. Um, again, I think maybe because of the like you know the clean sound of the studio version, like that one sounded a little bit superior. But I wish that version had the kind of wicked lower end synth bass that this one had. So in any case, let me know what you uh, let me know if you agree. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.